Monarch butterflies make an amazing multi-generational migration from their overwintering site in Mexico to their breeding range in the U.S. and Canada. They lay their eggs on milkweed, which is the only plant monarch caterpillars will eat. The adult butterflies feed on nectar for many types of flowering plants, but in recent years their population has dropped by 80% because of habitat loss and widespread pesticide use. You can help provide monarchs with the food they need during their long journey simply by planting a pollinator-friendly garden at home. Monarchs migrate north through Oklahoma in the spring and south in the fall. If you plant in the fall, select perennials that will die back in the winter, but come back in the spring. Also be sure to finish planting before the first frost. The more plants, the better but you don't have to plant a huge area to help monarchs. An area of 100 square feet works well. Your pollinator garden will do best in an area that receives six to eight hours of sunlight per day. It's also best to plant in an area that is sheltered from the wind. Shrubs and tall grasses can help shield the garden if your site does not have any wind breaks. Make sure there is a water source nearby so that you can water the area regularly until the plants are well established. Milkweed is the only plant on which monarch butterflies will lay their eggs, and it's the only type of plant that caterpillars will eat. It is best to plant at least 10 milkweed plants of two or more species per 100 square feet. Don't worry if the caterpillars eat all the milkweed leaves. The plants are perennial and will grow back the following year. Monarchs also need flower power. Select a variety of flowering plants with different bloom times so that nectar is available from March through October. Native plants are best. They support not only monarchs, but also other types of native pollinators that are also in decline. Most importantly, only purchase plants from nurseries that do not use systemic insecticides or any other pesticides on their plants. These plants can be harmful to pollinators, including monarchs and their caterpillars. Prepare the soil for your pollinator garden by removing lawn or other plant cover and raking the soil. If the soil contains a lot of clay or sand, add compost to enrich it. In larger areas, seed mixes and milkweed seeds may be more cost effective. When using seeds, prepare the soil by raking it about six inches deep. Add mulch after planting to conserve soil moisture. For small gardens, plugs provide the best and fastest results. If using plant plugs, plan your garden and prepare the soil before purchasing the plants. Group plants by color and type. Butterflies are attracted to large splashes of color, especially red, orange, yellow, and purple. Dig a hole just large enough for the plug's roots. Gently break up the root ball with your fingers to help the roots grow into the surrounding soil. Use soil to cover the roots so that only the leaves and stem of the plant are above ground. Early on, it's important to water your plants regularly, about every two to three days. Keep in mind that more water may be needed during hot, dry spells or if the plants appear to be drooping. Once established, native plants typically do not need additional water. Don't use pesticides or weed-killing chemicals as they are harmful to pollinators. Remove weeds manually and use mulch to prevent their growth and retain soil moisture. Don't worry about insect pests like aphids. Over time, natural predators like ladybird beetle larvae will move into your garden and keep the pests under control. In late fall, clear out any blackened stems and foliage from annual flowers. After frost, cut back dry stems of perennials to soil level. This routine maintenance will protect your garden from pest eggs and disease spores that may linger. Be sure to register your monarch habitat at okiesformonarchs.org. The information you provide will be added to statewide and nationwide databases to track habitat increases for monarchs and other pollinators. When you plant and register your own pollinator garden, you make a positive impact that carries far beyond your own backyard. In large numbers, even the smallest actions can make a difference.